I start to bring home a new sense of community and relationships with each other and a new way to interact with others in Spokane, no matter where they come from, and a new sense of uh, love and servitude. An appreciation for the uh, for the mission ministry and hopefully get a passion for doing that. Well, I expect to learn a lot about myself. I expect to learn that uh, how I react in certain situations and how how I feel after helping other people, which it's a good feeling most of the time, but it's hard work and I expect to learn a lot, yeah. I expect to learn like how exactly how privileged we are and uh, you know, just really see what actually is out there in the world. Skid Row, we got to, or when we were in LA, we went down to Skid Row, and just like the how how hard it is for people, and you know how touched they are that we reach out to them it was really really a great experience. I think probably just the simplicity of servitude. I saw uh, a lot of a lot of men and women who uh, coming from a broken past, uh, just they simply uh, gave over their life to Christ, which is. By a big part of the ministry at Dream Center, but they gave their life to Christ and afterwards uh, made their lives about serving others and uh, filling the creed that Jesus gave before he died, uh, which is to make disciples out of the world. So, I don't know, I'd say uh, just how easy service can be. First word that comes to mind is humbling. You know, you hear, you know, on the news about, you know, all this poverty going on, but it's not until you really go out there and see it for yourself that you really, you know, you really learn, you know, what's really going on and what's, you know, how serious this is. And so, it's really, you know, makes me appreciate my life here a lot more than I did before the trip. 